Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play Delete. I don't really know anything about the story of this game, but the art style was really cool. And the main character is a guy, and that's not something I get to play often. I'll start now. Where am I? My head. Why does it feel empty? I was lying here when I woke up. Maybe this is my bed. I can't remember. You have a giant head. I really do have a lot of books. How do you know those are your books? Brooks? Oh god. <gasps> a computer. Mine, maybe. There's dust gathering on it. Erg. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, lights. Good. Hi, Red Book. A diary. It has the name Zai. Ah, it has my name on it. Is it mine, then? This must be my room. Why don't I remember? This doesn't look like a bedroom. <laughs> Laptop. The battery's dead. Maybe it was left on too long. But the screen is on. <laughs> uh, notes. Humans believe that the totality of human... What? Humans believe that the... Beh. Humans believe that the totality of a human being can be separated into four parts. Body, mind, soul, and spirit. Research has shown that non-living objects only possess a body, but a chip can be implanted to replace the mind. Scientists are currently researching methods of implanting a spirit and soul into non-living objects to make androids more human. There's yet to be any signs of such being possible. You're an android. Crude drawings. A weird creature. I hope these aren't mine. Books. I'm too short to reach them. I wonder how I managed to before. You had an adult do it for you? How old are you? You're like... I don't know, you could be 20? But you could also pass for a teenager. I'm crazy. Mother always liked it when I drew stuff. It's weird that I remember that. Why did mother give me so many books? Because you're an android and you have to learn as much as you can, so that you can better integrate into society as a human. I wonder what this actually does, I've never used it. The board seems as though it hasn't been used for some time. Huh. More books. I guess I like to read. I wonder if it's weird that I have so many books. So many books. I sure do have a lot of books. You keep saying that. Ow. Ah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. Um. You can't leave. What? Why can't I? You just can't. But the door's right there. You're not allowed to. But... No. I'm still gonna go, regardless. Then I will follow you. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's how humans talk. Good job, fellow android. We are doing a good job at being humans. <laughs> I was lying here when I... No? Oh, you talk now. I mean, you, uh... Say different things. Books. Oh, can you read the computer for me? No. Can you reach this for me? Not the right button. I can't reach him. I don't like you. Oh, come on! I guess you androids don't have the social interaction. I don't know what I'm saying. You like my drawings? Mother always liked it. Yeah. Oh, the computer! No? 
I guess I'll go now. Documentation on wildlife and human behavior. Yep, this is where you make the androids into humans. Sci-fi storybooks. What is this, a giant table or a... Yeah, yeah. Huh. I wonder why these books are behind the glass case. Maybe they're important. Yeah. Picture depicting a teenage boy and a woman. That's I. Ah, that's Mother. Mother? Hmm, this lady over here. And that's me. Though, you really are following me around. Yes. Well, since you are, then, could you help me find my memories? Eh, <laughs> I've lost them, and I've no clue where to look. If I would be of any help. Of course you would. Well, I don't know where to start, so just help me look around. Hold on. Come on. Books lined up. Help me up. I don't like you. Really? Wait, this computer. Battery's dead. Plug your finger into it. Never mind. Uh, this thing. What's this? A photo album. Oh, and this must be where that photo's from. Huh? There's something stuck in between the pages. A note. Zai, if you forget where the keycard is, remember that it's where you rest your head when we say goodnight. Ah, it's a note from Mom. How conveniently placed. Pillow. Ah, keycard. I can use that. in a different language. Locked. I shouldn't go in anyway. Mother doesn't like it when I go into her room. There's no doorknob. Oh, Mother always kept the doorknob hidden, said it was a disaster waiting to happen. Hey, don't laugh at me. Are we friends now? Dang it. Alright. Uh... Oh wait, what the heck is that? I hadn't noticed this. It appears to be some kind of old text, but it's too blurred to read. What does that mean? Um... Locked. Oh, I can force it open. It opened. I forgot to ask, um, where is this exactly? I'm Zai, but who are you? I'm Subject 4, and this is yourself and your mother's living quarters, I'd assume. That's the most I've heard you say so far, but Subject 4 is kind of a weird name, though. I suppose. Well, if you don't mind, I'll call you Faye. Why, if I may ask? You're like that fairy from that show I watched. Tinkerbell, you know? Grumpy and Owl. Ha 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 ha. Alright then. I just noticed that you had ball joints, like a doll. That's cool. Only form of decoration you'd find in our home. That's dreary. And you remember your home now, that's good. Can I? How about now? I feel like you're taller than me. You are taller than me, right? Yeah. Come on! Yeah. Huh? This room's bright right away. It automatically detects your presence and switches on. A rather simple thing to be amazed, eh, amazed about. Shut up. Why don't the previous rooms have this? Your mother wanted you to not rely on automated things, so she opted out for them within her living space. Oh, maybe I should stop trying to get her to talk. Rude. Okay. I hope you don't kill me at the end. Are you like a Terminator thing and you're supposed to... Mm, Keycard. Okay, now it's science -y. AR Center. 
AR Center. What does that mean? I don't know. Access denied. Hold on. Research centers 1, 2, and 3. There's some fine print at the bottom. Please remember to sign into both departments to get access to number 3. That's... weird. Which floor do you wanna... <gasps> Elevator. Don't have access. Don't have access. I guess we'll get that now. Mm, note. A letter addressed to the head of the research department. Don't wanna read it. Books on the uncanny valley. Is that why your art style looks... different? It seems that the book has been left open for a while now. Don't wanna read that either. Old text on the first few robots created. Unfinished letter addressed to the defect department. Unfortunately, most of the writing is illegible. Only one paragraph is readable. Due to the significant rise of reported flaws, this department requires more staff than it has. If any of you are willing to change departments, please let me know. That aside, everything else is illegible. Uh... Alright. Defect is lit up. Majority of electronic devices aren't working. Hopefully the mainframe's still up. Books on the anatomy of industrial robots. Equipment. Note inside says, documents have been stored in the archives for safekeeping. Please refer to them if needed. Ah, the documents. Those are important. I guess. A variety of reports made by the research departments. Uh, secrets? A tap doesn't have... Bah, doesn't seem to have been used. Some scratches. They were left by metal scraping. Or an android being ripped apart. I don't know. Other than some ice cubes, it's empty. Is that a rotten sandwich? There's nothing of importance inside. Okay. Lab report. Dated a year ago. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Chemicals neglected for a while now. Uh, book? Uh, filled with notes regarding android parts and how to fix them. Oh, I can use that when my friend gets injured. Writing out uh, everything written is illegible but one sheet of paper. We've been seeing this kid around for a while now, but he seemed a lot brighter than kids his age. The boss said not to pay him too much mind, but sometimes he helps out in our work. As I said, the kid's pretty sweet and gentle, so we have no qualms with him. I really hope the boss doesn't think of him as just a... I'm not sure what these are, but I don't think I want to find out. Jars of gooey stuff? What was that? Enter the password. Uh, defect? That'd be too easy. Alright. Toolboxes with tools in them. Oh my god! Cardboard boxes. Uh, okay. Defect. A book that's been left open. The moisture in the air smudged out most of the words. Don't read it, though. Cup of coffee. Musings from one of the staff. The head likes to hang around the repair department, because apparently it's more out of here. I mean, of course it'd be more noisy here. We're looking for any flaws that could be in the boss's robots. I wish he'd come over here more, though. He's so hot, it gives me more motivation to do work and gives me an excuse to dress up. Haha, <laughs> I'll try to seduce him. <laughs> and that's enough of that. Good, good boy's eye. Wait, if you're too embarrassed to read it, I can... I'm not! No need to be ashamed. Hold on. Repair. Repair and... Defect. Straight pieces of paper. Doesn't seem to be anything of importance. Mmm, books on malfunctions. Uh... Oh my god, wait. Did Faye... Nah, she didn't kill everyone. There's no blood anywhere. 
I'm not sure what these are, but yeah, I don't want to find out. Plants, wilted leaves. I mean, if the plants just wilted, then it couldn't have been that long. Scale, ah, uh, welting masks, no welding tools though. Hmm. Maybe an android took them so that she could repair herself over time. Huh. Oh wait, computer. Enter the password. A uh, defect and repair. It's not repair because that was the one in the same room. Error. Oh wait, was it defects? What? Oh, hold on. There we go. What? Nothing? Oh, that just opened up one of the things so that I can get into the third room. A bratis gooey substance. Looks like jelly. I think it's some sort of gel or silicone. Mmm, jelly. Faye, did you just... Yes. Never mind. You just ate it, didn't you? You totally did. Uh... Jelly. Ha! Alright. You're fun. A pile of paper lay scattered on the table. One of the staff wrote stuff on it. Zai's the name of the boy, it seems. His cheery self tends to make the atmosphere of the place so much better. Boss says that he won't cause any trouble, and I second that statement. He's a sweetheart, really. Though I wonder what Boss is up to. She's been cooped up in her room more than usual. We get kind of worried, but she just shushes us away. Hopefully she's not overworking. It seems to have been left blank after that. The writing looks messy. Like the person was in a rush. Okay. Uh, repair. Gotcha. Now I can enter the thing on the right side. There's a keycard stuck in here. Keycard too. Good. It appears to be several reports of the few androids that have been created. They've been scattered out messily as though someone was trying to find a specific report. Did you do that, Faye? This one doesn't seem to be working, I... Some warning would be appreciated next time. Sorry. Here, you can use my shirt too. Huh? Faye, did you always have these kinds of joints? Had you not noticed the entire time? Rather, aren't these the norm to you? We are androids, after all. Android? I'm not human? Ah, you lost your memories. So it's likely that you don't remember. Anyways, your offer's accepted. Please let me use your shirt to dry my hair. No, I was kidding. I mean, I was desperate. Please don't use it against me, Faye. I'm sorry. What does that mean? What are you trying to do? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'd rather not go through that again. So many books, just like my journal. Maybe mother liked the color red. Old text on psychological behavior. Yep, androids go crazy. Uh, several magazines. Yep. Yep. The people here call this place the rest corner. I never figured out why, though. Yeah, you never got to that part of the How to Be a Human Handbook. Locked. And... There's no need to go in there. The light's broken and it's dangerous. Uh, alright then. Those are androids, aren't they? Okay. This thing. Wait, what? Alright. I'm gonna continue this in the next part. Bye-bye. <laughs>